Hey y'all, it's Cody from the Keepers Nerd. How you doing? I thought today would be a fun day because just to talk about Pinocchio. Uh, got to watch this this weekend and also Thor Love and Thunder, so I'll be doing a video about that at some point soon as well. So yeah, let's talk about it for a minute. First off, Pinocchio has Tom Hanks in the Geppetto role, and then I don't even know who voices uh, Pinocchio, but very interesting uh, take on a very old film, right? Pinocchio is one of their older cartoons, you know, up there with like Snow White. And this, okay, just know this is going to have some spoilers in it, just to keep in mind. This movie is both really cute and also really cringy at the same time. So really cute is what I just mean of it's, it does honor the original story pretty well. It does. There are some, some things that it does not, or it adds or changes. But overall, it, it tends to honor the original story and, and give you the same kind of thing, basically. There's some exceptions to that as well, though. Where it gets really cringy and... Okay, first off, the picture behind me is the biggest cringe of all for the whole movie. If you can see, Figaro's right there. And Pinocchio, you know, obviously right here. Uh, you can see... Is that Chloe? Yep, the goldfish tank is in the back, but there doesn't seem to be anything in there. And so what we've got here is a really interesting thing that happens throughout this entire film is they, you could tell it was put on Disney Plus for a reason, because they did not spend the, the amount of money for CGI as they should to make Pinocchio look and feel like he should, but also like Figaro... At first I was wondering, why didn't they get an actual cap for this movie? And then I realized, like, scenes like this where he's prancing and dancing and then doing certain things in this, the film, you wouldn't get a cat to ever do it. And so I get it, but he looks super, super terrible. Like, it, it's it's just bad. Jiminy Cricket is also CGI, which that didn't shock me, but it's also kind of weird. Uh, Pinocchio, while he looks okay, he looks very cartoony, which if you're going to do a live action and you, you say you're doing a live action, but then you make him cartoony... It's like you didn't spend enough money to actually make him truly what you needed to. The other thing, if you'll notice, is just size. It just feels like, you know, Pinocchio is just supposed to be small. He's a puppet. But Figaro just, I guess, confused me a little bit. I guess Figaro is supposed to be a kitten, but still, it just something about the size seems off. And you could see that as you watch the film. Like, it's just strange. They just don't know what's going on. And, and Jiminy is definitely an anthropomorphized cricket. And when it was in the cartoon, everything was cartoon, so you just went with it. And so it didn't matter. But here it just stands out because they don't put in the the money to make it really look good. So that being said, the other things that are very cringy, uh, the blue fairy, why didn't she have hair? Like, I, I don't really care who you cast in that role, but it's like, Without hair, it just seemed odd, I guess, for some reason. It seemed like they were struggling with alopecia or something, or cancer. <laughs> it's just awkward. Uh, yeah, that one was a strange part. They decided to change Monstro into a monster, not a whale. Which, why? There's no reason for that, other than just to change for the sake of change. And then the last big change, and this one really... Oh, no, no, there's two other changes. One, they introduce an entirely new character. Uh, the, the puppet... The puppeteer behind one of the puppets. Because if memory serves in the cartoon, there's a puppet that he feels semi-connected with from dancing in the puppet show. And they, they actually connect the puppeteer behind the puppet. And the puppet has more life to it, if you will. Which isn't actually a bad thing. It's it's kind of interesting, but it's a little awkward because Pinocchio's stupid. Like he will have conversations and go, I trust you, the puppet, as you can clearly see the strings and the person right behind it. It's just kind of funny. And you go, Okay, he is a little kid that's just been born, but it's just weird. Um uh, Pleasure Island was very much the same concept. The, the person that they got for his friend that turns into a donkey while they're playing pool, Lampy. Uh, just, 
his voice was really grating compared to the original cartoon. Very strange. Then the last big thing, and this is this is the one that really made my my soul cringe for a minute, and then I I had to kind of rewind it and and see it is. Oh, and this leads to another one. I'm sorry. forgot about this one. The cringy thing is Jiminy Cricket starts with narration from the future to himself, to himself in the past. Super weird. Doesn't make sense. It's just bizarre, and it doesn't set the tone right for the film. And so another cringe thing is there's the clock scene behind me, like, several times they go off, and it is just Easter egg heaven. And I get it. Because it is kind of fun at first, but then you realize they just keep shooting to another clock and another clock and another clock, and it's just the same things over and over. It's different parts of Disney. You, you'll see Toy Story, you'll see Snow White, you'll see da 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 And I'm like, okay, good place to put an Easter egg. Putting every single one of your films, and I know it's not actually all of them, but there is a ton. Because there's two scenes where the clocks go off, and it's insane. So... Just just really weird. But at the very end of the film, uh, in the original film, whenever, you know, he turns into a real boy, here he, he saves his dad, Geppetto, and then they walk away. And as they're walking away, you can see that something's happening, maybe. And he is, in fact, transforming. And when you get a still p image of it, you can actually see the transformation that Pinocchio is becoming a real boy. But Jiminy comes in in this moment, and it's like a storybook and goes, well, some say he actually turned into a real boy. But we're not going to really talk about that. And so they just... They just did a lot of weird stuff there. It, it, it just didn't really work. Like, just show it. Just show him transforming. Celebrate. It's a perfect way to end. You don't need to change that. So they at least do show it, because it is there, but it's just you have to be paying attention. Because if you don't, you will not realize that, yes, Pinocchio did in fact change in the film to a real boy at the very end. But it's not celebrated. It's not a part of it. It's just kind of in the background. So it's just kind of an interesting thing that reminds me just Disney has a weird place right now where they... They'll put movies on Disney Plus for their live action remakes that they go. We're gonna spend forty million on it instead of ninety five that we need to to make it look good. Um, like I said, it, it is a cute film because it does honor for the most part the original film. But you you can just see that they didn't put the budget in. That's why they put it on just Disney Plus. Whenever these images like this or Geppetto picks up Pinocchio, and you can tell. He is not holding anything. You know, in good CGI, it feels like there there is interaction there. So that, you know, it, it's just one of those films that I, I think it's not going to stand the test of time. Nobody's going to look back at it fondly. Except for maybe itty bitty little kids that just think it's fun. So anyway, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below as far as Pinocchio. Have you seen it? And if so, what's what do you think is the good and the bad about it? I've been Cody from the Cupid's Nerdum. Take care. Bye.